Alright, how's it going everybody? I am SBL, the guild master of the Guild of Legends, located in the heart of the multiverse. And we are here with special guest Mado, jumping back into our fourth uh, stream of Nier Automata. We played a little bit uh, the last time, got a little bit further in the story, saw some of the weird and yet on a mostly unexplained things going on and we're looking to uh try to get some more answers today now i am on a new controller that i haven't i mean new to this game not new to me um so i might need to re-familiarize myself with how things work a little bit with this game are you switching over to ps4 no switching from ps4 to the switch pro controller because i oh. have a custom one of those that i really like and i haven't had uh, a ton of use of hmm i i figured it was like xbox one to ps4 or something like that no i uh you know i've got an xbox one controller somewhere wait is it xbox one or is it i think it's xbox one you had an xbox one controller yeah yeah uh you, um, you actually had two of them you uh gave me the one to try to fix up for you oh you yeah yeah I, I had actually stopped using it because i was having uh issues with the d-pad um yeah. not being properly responsive so yeah but uh i i I've always liked the the weight of the Pro Controller and just the overall feel of it. And uh, so when I when I got my Switch a while back, I got a custom colored Pro Controller as well. Uh, and I just haven't had a ton of use of it uh, for it so far because usually when I've been playing on uh, my Switch, I've been not on a TV. So just been using the uh joy cons on the uh portable mode um now let's see here try to remember where we're at uh we've got this mysterious letter which was just some mail that was sending us to various locations uh i think they were marked on the map or some of them were marked on the map um Looks like it wants me to go back to the factory as well. Uh, some of our quests here are a bit high level for where we're at. Like the parade escort, that was one that uh, we're a bit low for. Uh, Speed Star, I did one of those. Not uh, sure what the uh, next one is like. This guy just wants donations and... True mass people are chosen. Oh, right. That's the uh, thing in the desert that it said I should probably be a higher level for. All right. Um, I don't remember. What did these ones sell? Oh, they've got weapons. Type 3. They've got old weapons. Alright. Um, what quest is it? that's sending me out that way anyway is it the mysterious letter or is it just some other objective that i have that's not actually listed um you can teleport to factory entrance so i'm gonna i'm gonna do that and see what the deal is over there because i do not remember what uh wants me to go out that way
Whoops. That's a uh, learning curve of the new controls, I guess. That seems weird they switched around from the uh, PS4 controller. That was ominous. A little bit. I don't remember if this game has just two states of, like, movement speed or if it's the controller only having two states on the joystick, basically. That would be strange. Yeah. I assume it must just be uh, something that I've never really it's messed with in the game. Shady, if you ask me. So why are you still here? Appreciate it. has become a god. His wondrous grace has become a god. Become a god. His wondrous grace has become a god. Become a god. We as well shall become as gods. Become as gods. We as well shall become as gods. Become as gods. All of you shall become as gods. Become as gods. All of you shall become as gods. Become as gods. All of you shall become as gods. All die together and become as gods.
can't stop me from looting. place is big. The connection's too unstable to use the transporter. That was slightly unexpected. What's that? He's exploding, guys. All right, that's... Ooh.
Ooh. Oh. That's a cool thing to happen. It's a real cool thing to happen with basically no warning. Oh shoot, zero G in the chat. Uh, what's up? They're basically just a death cult, right? Yeah, it seems that way. camera is uh I need to get the hang of actually locking on to enemies <clears throat> uh, fortunately zero G didn't really miss much other than us going up to meet this machine cult and then uh all of this happening getting ambushed by him hold on i want to be out there Well, this looks like a bunch of big enemies. <laughs> what hit me? I didn't quite see. I think I must have gotten too close or something, and it just doesn't want me to touch his legs.
Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you, if you wanted to ask me questions, I, uh, a as you can already tell by my lack of talking on my own stream, uh, I'm definitely right there ready to just answer any and all questions. I, what am I? Get exploded. Can't even see what I'm fighting. So I've been thinking for a while. Uh, this feels like a little uh, disjointed from where I last remember. So I'm guessing last week when I accidentally slept in, you did play some of this, just not the full three hours? Nope. I don't remember what led to this. I completely am as in the dark as you are, it seems. Because I don't remember us like talking to Pascal and being like, hey, let's go do a peace treaty thing. I don't remember that at all. The idea of there being other machines that wanted a peace treaty sounds familiar, but I don't remember there being was, any setup to go to the factory. Wasn't that in the forest, though? Um, maybe. Yeah, I think I, I think I remember that being a thing. Um, I don't know. Apparently, I went the entirely wrong way, because I went somewhere that seemingly I'd already been, which I don't know how that would be the case. Because I've just been following a seemingly linear path up to this point. Oh. Oh, the bomb guys again. Uh, they sure do like doing that. Okay, you know what? I feel like Oh, well, you're counting on the... Maybe maybe I do have to go this way. We're going to see. I might... I, I may absolutely somehow be on a path that I was already on. You know what? I don't want to do this part. I already dealt with this. I'm done with the conveyor belts. We're going back. If I'm going the wrong way, we're going to find out the hard way. I just uh, realized I probably haven't gotten you a new copy of the 2B outfit, have I? Uh, probably not, no. I, I think I saw just the original one that you sent. Do you have anything to say, bud? What if I stab you? Rude. That's what you get for being rude. Anyway. Holy cow, another uh, friend from Discord. Fanny Love's in the chat. Hello. That makes one of us. Do you have any, any news for me? Okay. Um, you know, I, I see that there are multiple pathways here. Where is the one that I came from initially? Was it this way? Did I come from here? Okay, I, I came from this way. What happens if I go... I don't know. Um, let's try... Going... So what exactly is the goal? Are you just trying to escape? Or are you trying to get somewhere? I truly have no idea. 
<laughs> I think we're just trying to escape. Um, and I guess the way I came isn't the way to... Excuse me, didn't I just go to the other one, not this one? Am I losing my mind right now? Is that what's happening? Because that feels like that's what's happening. So I guess this is the one. I must not have gone up the stairs last time. Okay. Okay, I think <laughs> I think I've figured it out. I think I've deciphered the secrets. Man, I'm really curious to see what all this stuff I'm picking up is. There's been a lot of loot in here. I think my gun is better, bro. Not really accomplishing much over there, huh? No. Please. Don't kill me. Rejoice. You will all be chosen. With your death, you will become gods. Somebody help us. <laughs> Just kill the ones you're supposed to rescue. I don't even know if I'm able to damage them. They have different colored health bars. Let's see, can I? Oh yeah, so I can. Well, nothing I can do about it. I could have sworn I saw one blow up, actually. I think several of them blew up. I mean, from your attacks, I meant. That could be... Well, what I'm saying is, there's not really much I can do about it. It's, yeah. uh... You know, it's kind of the circumstance they're in. That's not what I wanted to do. Up! Let me go up! Uh, now I get to go up, now that it's not useful anymore. Ah, uh, whatever. Exit route secured. Connection's too unstable to use the transporter. You know, in games where they have an NPC following around with you, right? Mm hmm. And talking to that NPC does literally nothing. Talking to the NPC shouldn't ever be something that you can do. I like how Berseria does it where it's on a separate button. I think I've probably said that to you before. Yeah, and I mean, that would be 
an upgrade for sure, but like if there is literally no reason to do it, it's just a pointless one-liner, it shouldn't even be there. Yeah. Well, like, are, are you certain that there's never a time where they give you a hint or uh, advice or plot advancement? If there is, then it should be available in those times. But if there is not something that they're going to actively say that's useful, you shouldn't have the ability to even prompt them. <laughs> Is there anything to do with the body? No, it doesn't look like it. Which way is any direction that is useful? Proposal. Proceed toward... Cool. Where is that? <laughs>
These guys are kind of going wild. Did I see an item up there? I don't know. Which way is out? <laughs> is down the right way? Hopefully down is the right way to go. This is the wrong way. That was unexpected. Um, I guess I have to go all the way up again. That's cool. It would be nice if there was really any kind of useful indicators or anything. I think I have to go through here. But truly, a lot of the time the map in this game is just kind of useless. Yeah. Pretty wild. Zero hit run when. That was 
How about no? I had no idea such a vast space existed beneath the abandoned factory. I need to return and investigate as soon as possible. When I do, perhaps you'd be willing to join me? No thanks. I'm, I'm glad to the resistance to be feels the you? same way about I'll the space as I do. Wander back to the village. I have plenty on my plate there. I see. Their numbers increasing like this. Cause unknown. Try contacting the bunker via laser relay system. Affirmative. That's unusual. Oh yeah. Yeah. I assume this is because uh, Eve got some sick new tattoos and now all the machines are going crazy because of it. Why are you just walking so slow while everyone's like screaming? You okay? They came out of nowhere, overran the entire camp. We tried to fight back, but our shots have no effect. Alert. Energy shields detected on multiple enemy fighters. Physical attacks recommended. Got it. You get the other androids out of here. Good luck.
Uh, so zero G for your uh, ET stuff, just um, go ahead and just uh, go pretty wild with it. If anything is an issue, we can talk about it uh, later on. And uh, yeah, Vanny, same thing. Toby, you, you saved our lives. What's going on here? I have no idea. They came out of nowhere and just. Huh? That was outside the camp. <laughs> Incredible. I am going to just need one second here. All right. Oh, it's this guy again. again? Hmm. Henshin? Like Henshin a go go baby? Oh, I should stream that sometime, don't you think? What's that? Uh, Beautiful Joe. That could be interesting. He's the one, when I just said Henshin to go, go baby, he's the one that says that. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do this. But it could very well be that there is certainly not. Ow. So I realized a bit of an irony. Oh, yeah? Okay, so you've got a 2D avatar, and you stream predominantly 3D games. I've got a 3D avatar, and my inclination is always to stream something 2D. Mm hmm? Again, this cannot be the appropriate way to fight this thing. <laughs> but I truly... I'm not seeing much other option here. This is just destroying all the battlefield. Am I doing any damage? Okay, there we go. Something happened. <laughs> Why is your pod just sitting around? Because he has a shield on, so I wasn't able to hit him with anything useful. Alert. Local machine life forms are converging on the area. This is never going to end. Hypothesis. The Goliath-class enemy screen has summoned the local machine life forms. Proposal. Destroy the Goliath. <laughs> what do you think she's trying to do?
thing I landed that direct hit. Uh oh. You die. All of you are going to die. Now oh, they're doing weird stuff again. Gonna be Goliath Eve? To me! You okay? I'm fine. Let's take this bastard down. Right. <laughs> What's with the cape op dude? Uh, that's a good question. I got that right, right? Eve was the uh, kind of whiny one. Eve was the short-haired one. And kind of whiny and moody. I think only after the other one died. Nah, during the first confrontation, it seemed like he was kind of that way too. The why won't you let me kill them thing that he had going, you know? I never really got whiny so much as uh, just kind of maybe bloodthirsty. To me, Eve came off kind of whiny and uh, Adam came off more devious. Wow. I would like to do something useful in this fight. Are your uh, heal items still on auto use? Yeah. Machine core obtained. I'm gonna guess that he didn't uh, disconnect from the uh, network though. No, I'm guessing not. He doesn't have the balls that his brother had. They're still coming. I think it's probably more just that. Uh, There's too many. Again, he's incredibly bloodthirsty, and he recognizes the weapon that he has. Our village is under. Yeah. Pascal, come in, Pascal. Shit. Watch your language. So they're just kind of floating around, huh? Where's uh, where's the way to Pascal's village again? Up north. Let me check the map. Yeah, it's up north. I think the difference between Adam and Eve is that Adam had aspirations of, like, I don't know, being human or whatever. And Eve just wants to kill everything. So disconnecting from the network makes sense for Adam, but not really for Eve. Here too. No, not for long. It seems the machines on the network have gone berserk. They've sealed off the entrance to the village and are trying to hold them off. But with these weapons, there's only so much we can do. Let's take these guys out first.
Um. What's uh? What's the goal here? Is shooting it actually doing anything? Or am I just pointlessly making it impossible to see? You saved us! Oh, thank you so much! What happened here? The machines on the network all went berserk at the same moment. I think the unit presiding over them may have gone mad. It's Eve. It's gotta be. If we destroy this presiding unit, will it stop the rest? Most likely, yes. Pod, I need you to locate Eve's current position. Location has been detected and placed on map. We'll take care of Eve. You just worry about keeping the village safe, okay? Do be careful. Looks like he's bombarding the area with forced connections. I think all these transmissions are making the machines go haywire. We have to find Eve and destroy him. On it. Now what? Ah. Uh, and here you are. I know you two feel the same. That this world is utterly meaningless. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. And now, everything must die! Why did you kill my brother? Uh, crepes would have solved this situation. If only he had tried crepes. Now, who throws debris at someone like that? Again? Come on, bro.
energy signature detected. What is it? The energy seems to be coming from a large number of linked machine life forms. He's absorbing the life force of whatever's left on the network. Damn it. We'll never get anywhere like this. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shutting him down. Back me up, 2B. On it. Protecting Unit 9S while he hacks the system. The enemy is connected to a vast network. Analysis. The actions of Unit 9S <laughs> have an unacceptably low probability of success. Proposal. Unit 2B should abandon Shut Unit 9 If 9S says he can do it, then he will! But, like, where's my reinforcements, though? You never know. Your team does have a space station, and oftentimes reinforcements from a space station means a new... means a laser beam strike wiping out the entire area. I mean, if that's what it takes, man, like... But when there was, like, a, a crisis before, they sent in a ton of people. And apparently they managed to lose a lot of those people, though, didn't they? And somehow permanently? Uh, I think they lost some, but not, you know, not all of them. And, I mean, uh, you know, they're soldiers. They're android soldiers, so it's not really the end of the world if they do get destroyed. Because they're androids, and... They have the means to get them back, it seems like. Except sometimes. Well, your entire squadron is apparently permanently dead, remember? Uh, I think there was only one that they specifically ever referred to. I thought that when you were looking for her, you came across several bodies that just weren't hers. I don't think so. Can I reach it? Oh, I can't hit high enough with my sword.
Does this really just dodge the same three attacks? Is that is that this part of the fight? Alert. NFCS destroy. Close range combat no longer operable. What is up with your health bar? I don't know. Now it's dodged the same three attacks, but barely can move. I'm assuming my health bar is all funky because uh, my systems are taking some damage. You know, okay, I have a question. These guys, hit Adam and Eve are supposed to be so badass, right? So why can't they hack you when the diva could? Oh, shoot. I don't know. That one kind of sucked because as soon as I got hit by one, there was just no opportunity yeah. to avoid any of the others. Stock up on some health potions before doing this? I had health potions. It's just once I got hit by one, it took out my HP before it could refill. Oh, that's what happened there? Yeah. I thought like, maybe you had just uh, run out at that point. At this point, though, I am curious to see if I'm just out a ton of healing abilities now. Yep. All of my restoratives are just gone. Kill. 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 Yeah. You know... I know I haven't gone through the whole thing yet, so I can't really judge the entire fight, but so far, this fight just kind of sucks. <laughs> I would like tend it's to agree. Just not... There, There is no real, like, gameplay to it. It's just you're, you're walking around. There were some fights in Bloodstained that made me feel like that. Do you have the mid-battle heal over time equipped? Uh, I have the one that uh, heals me for damage, I do. Okay. That's, I think that's the one that I meant, because uh, it's that or kills, right? You choose between the two? There's also just like a passive, like a really slow heal. Ah. I mean, that handy. would be the auto-heal one. Yeah. That could be useful. And let's see, I have seven left, so maybe I just put that on there just in case. What was it? Uh, there is a small percentage chance that when I die, I come back with 10% HP. Ah. Yep. Hit the wall there, so there wasn't really much movement I could do. Nothing matters anymore. I'll erase you. I'll erase everything.
Yeah, there's just really not much, uh, yeah, fully just like a zone out kind of, uh, encounter here. There's just nothing to really interact with, nothing to think about, nothing interesting that's happening because it's just the same stuff over and over. No, please, don't, not again. That's a sharp sword. Finally. It's so well, I mean, it does cut metal, right? Yeah, I suppose so. I wonder if it's like riding sword. Seriously? <laughs> I'm really screwed up. I must have been corrupted when Eve detached from the network. No. Pretty sure the goal is for her to kill him, but uh, I don't know why she didn't just use the sword. Because she dropped it way over there. That's what the pot is for, man. <laughs> That's true, he did have a sword too. <laughs> Fanny, no.
I'm alive. Transmissions. They're resonating with each other. Too big. Who are? It looks like I left my personal data in the machine side of things. Next thing I knew, my sense of self was regenerated over the surrounding network. Having multiple cells fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. But I couldn't access any storage areas yet, so I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies so that when I returned to my own body, I. Yes. I... I'm glad you're okay. So, I, mean, I think he said there's like three or five or something uh, proper endings to it that fill out basically the, the entire story. And then there's like a billion lesser endings that just don't matter. Including the fish ending? Yeah, yeah, the fish ending, which, which we achieved uh, in our, our second episode of this, I think. Where you um, just die for eating the a fish. End of the first episode? Oh, it might have been. It might have been, yeah. Where the the oil from the fish or something just like gums up your system and you just die. So let me see if there's anything. Hmm. I kind of wonder if they'd be one of the ones to be like, well, if you skip the credits, you miss this cutscene and the ability to keep playing the game. 
I don't remember what game it was, but there was one I played where if you skip the credits, you completely lose out on the ability to continue playing the game. Like, you would have to start over again and then finish the game and then watch the credits to actually continue playing after credits. Sounds like that could have been one of the Assassin's Creed's, honestly. I don't think so. I can't remember what it was, though, so maybe. Voice change option. So, somehow, in less time than I played this game previously, I got through the first ending. And, in fact, over half of the game, if not the majority of the game, whereas the other one I spent like 12, 12 hours and, and some amount of time and basically achieved nothing. <laughs> Except for ending K. Yeah. So I guess I continue. I'm curious to see what that or would that be. Add effects to voice play. What does that mean? Why is it a slider? What? <laughs> Turn it up a little and see. Let's see. We got uh, we're about an hour and a half in, and uh, we finished the game. So uh, I guess we'll start the next part here. Jeez. They're going to force you to play as a machine for a good long while. If I give my brother this, he'll move again. I need a container. I can use this. They're going to make it so if you jump, it spills, right? Yep. <laughs> they have to give you a terrible control character and then punish you for doing the only thing that feels good on the character. That's typical game design. You know, those tubes didn't cause me any issues before, but the way that they're placed there, I'm a little wary of actually trying to walk over them. Hmm. What about that little bit of rubble there? Yeah, I was wondering about that as well. Now, here's the question. Have they made us paranoid that we're playing the game the way that, that they want us to, or have they actually set those traps? Doesn't matter how much oil you give him, little guy. You can't make a machine your brother. Well, looks like it's time.
So is this before the first attack? I think so. Operator 210 to unit 9S. Come in 9S. 9S here. Go ahead. The Yorha troops have commenced their descent. Disable the enemy base's defense systems immediately. Roger that. Proceed with mission operations immediately. What the? <laughs> Is that truly something that just happened right there? Is that, that because thing you jumped off happened? like that? I think it is. <laughs> Well, that's uh, another ending down. We are <laughs> nailing it. That's absurd. Because I, <clears throat> there wasn't Three even... Endings faster than you got your first ending. There wasn't even anything... I guess there, there was that voice clip, but... Like, with, uh, with the fish, at least, it was like, Ah, uh, yeah, this is probably going to kill you. You sure you want to do it? This one, it wasn't like, if you jump down there, it's going to fucking end the game forever. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love Zero's reaction there. This is my favorite thing about this game ever. How many uh, straight endings are there going to be? that make you come back to this exact spot. <laughs> okay Let's just see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Do you think the rocks are real? And it's probably something. Now, th this game, the I'm pretty sure half of the design intent of this game was them just going to, like, uh, uh, a meeting, right? And they're like, all right, guys, we're brainstorming. How many ways can we make players hate this game? Because genuinely, so many of the decisions that they make seem to be towards that end. It is an incredible looking game. The gameplay is good. The story is weird and interesting. But there are just some decisions that they made that are just bad. I wonder what happens if you hang to the right here. I imagine you can just walk around Operator 210 to unit 9S Come in 9S 9S here go ahead The Yorha troops have commenced their descent Disable the enemy base's defense systems immediately Roger that Flight unit recommended So where exactly were you supposed to go Oh um, there was a thing. I could have kicked that ladder down. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess there's no going back that way now. <laughs> Truly. That is exactly the way that this game is. Just a million endings and none of it even matters.
We'll need you to take down the enemy's defense systems to give our attack squadron a chance. You have four targets that need to be hacked. Be advised that hostiles have been detected around each target and must be defeated before continuing. Bullet sponges. The target is now accessible. Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. Fine. Nope. I need to hold that. Uh... You're on a timer. Yeah, no, I'm trying to figure out how the aiming works. Ah. Because it's real sensitive. Hacking complete. Proceed to the next target. I was wondering a little bit ago where that hacking game ever went. Yeah. That's interesting. What was the purpose of that hack? I don't know, I guess just to destroy it, but it's a lot easier to just shoot them. Can you hack the big guys? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it. Whoops. Oh. How did this happen? I guess you can. I don't think I did that. If I did, it was initiated some way that I haven't initiated hacking before. I thought I saw... Y button prompt pop up, but it like disappeared way faster than usual. Hacking complete. Two targets remain. But truly, why would I even bother with hacking when I have the option of just destroying them? With, like, bullets and stuff. So much more convenient. I don't think that Az has ever worn fake nails. I don't think he's even painted his nails. And I just grow my nails out, so... Yeah, I can't say I ever have. Hacking complete. One target remains. Man, this is a real pain. May I remind you that personal chatter during operations is restricted? 
fine. Wait, so 9S was level 9 when you were struggling with that first boss, or level 26 when you were struggling with that first boss? Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure the level has nothing to do with the story. I'm pretty sure it fully just kept my level from the previous game. I know, I was just like cracking a joke there, my guy. Hacking of enemy defense system complete. Our attack squadron can now infiltrate the base. You are to continue providing support by whatever means available. Get a load of that thing. Firing missiles. <laughs> Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. Send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that, I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. Sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory, but now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Work party B, proceed to cafeteria 25. What? It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machine. 
surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they... I don't know, moved it somewhere? Is that...? You mean, the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. How are he, How did he know that she was there talking about birds? Facility across that I don't know. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. To be. What's going on? She appears to be engaging the target enemy. We have to help her. Let's go! Hmm. Oh, doing the upload? Yeah, I guess so. This is kind of interesting. Hi. 
God. Get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the- Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut and up! Current... Just do what I say! <laughs> to be... Just go. Will you shut up too? We... We're soldiers. We take pride in... Our service. <sighs> HO-229 Flight Unit, Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. All right. Incoming enemy fighters detected. And gauging. Weaknesses found in enemy units. To be... I found a weakness in the target. Hacking in... to provide support. To be... the control... on the enemy's upper arm. Use your pod. Should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up! I feel like not knowing what's going on in this game is intended and expected. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. No, this part makes a lot more sense if you played the first game playthrough. Yeah. Subjugation complete. 2B has successfully commandeered the enemy unit. Continuing support. Upload 2B's memory data package. Alert. Memory data for Unit 9S has not yet been updated. That's fine. Upload 2B's data first. Affirmative.
Just die already! about bringing the battle to them ought to be contact command request assistance no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary oh great That <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box, it's ready. Right. Requesting. Destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Tubi, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. So are you basically going to play the whole game through again as 9S this time? That's what it seems like. Oh, that's interesting. Arcade feature. Oh. What does it let you do? Uh, replay hacking games. Hmm. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. So I'm, I'm guessing that two B and nine S have more history than just what happens in this game, and that's why her reaction anytime he's been dying has been so Sorry severe. On you. Oh, looks like you've already started. To be, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot sequence. First, you'll want to check your brightness settings. Hmm? You don't know how to adjust the brightness? I think it's set up to respond to some kind of input. All right, just give me a second here. Okay, I found the guide. If you can just follow that, it'll make things easier. <laughs> right then, let's get started. We'll go through each adjustment in order. Let's start by getting the brightness set. Okay, how does this look? <laughs> Roger that. Oh. And I should probably let you know that this entire process is being recorded for posterity. Yeah, apparently it was. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't going to work. I'm going to call out to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Ma'am, are you there? <coughs> can you hear me? Uh, hello? Go ahead and adjust your settings so you can hear me, all right? All right, are we good now? Okay, settings should all be good to go. Uh, hold on. 
Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Morning. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right, if you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. I'm pretty sure he didn't lead the way out of the door, though. You need to be near mm -hmm. an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Okay, so we're going to be doing this for about another hour, it looks like? Uh, yeah, about another hour. Uh, I'm going to run and grab a smoke real quick, actually. All right. finished yes commander you detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy bold but risky try not to be so reckless next time understood i know you're fresh out of maintenance but i have another mission for you i need you to head to the surface rendezvous with the resistance and do some recon doesn't yorha have a dedicated resistance contact already we haven't been able to get in touch with them so we'll need you to look into that as well understood the surface that means we'll be getting flight units huh better head for the hangar <laughs> usually we can't get near flight units they're way too expensive for us grunts too bad they can't mass produce these things yet model like you to a recon job if all they want is intel we scanner models are built for that kind of thing orders are orders all right all right to be you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out i'll put up instructions for you make sure to commit them to memory roger
Bunker to 2B, come in. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the Resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. <laughs> that would have been useful. And I'm back. Cool. You're split off from- oh, she is following you, okay. Yeah. Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. So you can actually take down the life forms now? According to our intel, I probably have an easier time of it now. Hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. Or if there's an ending for doing all the arcade You're stuff. Number two. Hmm. You Could know be. about 2B? Um, yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like.
Okay, that's everything the supply trader asked for. Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The Resistance is a valuable ally to Yorha. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, yeah. This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claimed most of it now. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. This is 9S. Nothing to report. Weather's sure nice today, though. Nothing to report. Copy that. And no need for a weather report. Operator 210 out. Ah, uh, you don't have to be so formal all the time, Operator. Oh, I kind of like that about you. Hypothesis. Jamming caused by enemies in local vicinity. Well, that's interesting. What's that? So even though uh, 9S has his own weapons, uh, I still have access to 2B's weapons. Hmm. I will have to uh, check out that Discord a little bit later. See what you're talking about.
we're up to three endings. Uh, working on the fourth now. I think you were here for the second ending, so that means we've only gotten one while you were gone. Oh wait, is that one of those chests that you couldn't open before? Yeah. Ah, so they all needed hacking is what they needed. Yeah. Uh... I think 2B got a little lost. Oh, well, seems like it. That's interesting. What's that? The path there is destroyed. Was it not during the 2B run? Nope. It's where you go to get her uh, sword back. Ah. Man, sure wish I could go up there. But you forgot to kick it. Well, it wasn't even that I forgot. It's that I didn't know I had to yeah. until I saw the prompt on the way down. Yeah. wonder why it didn't have a... Thing equipped. Well, hopefully I'm not going to miss out on an incredible uh, weapon for not being able to go back to that starting point. My suspicion is if you could go back, then you would get some sort of explanation for why uh, that ending happened. Oh, the ending narration seemed to be for going off course from the mission. It decided that uh, 9S was just going to abandon his mission and go do some other stuff or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, maybe, like, 
they'll explain that he had seen like some robots and investigated them. Like maybe they're still there type thing. Yeah, maybe. But unfortunately, there is no way to know. So what's the current objective? Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Uh, Light plants too. The side mission to get stuff for the weapons vendor. Hmm. hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such too. Do you mean that um? Uh. So there was that one quest where like we ended up taking forever to do it because you couldn't find the key is that the side quest you're talking about no i got that one at the same time but this time i already had all the stuff i needed so i was able ah. to turn it in right away The, uh, the other vendor needs something that I don't know if I've even come across this before. This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. That guy was a lot easier than the previous one. Yeah. Three more of that thing? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I mean, clearly, 
the bullet hell that game is just a representation of Let's the get these back to the trailer. adversarial interaction between the two computer brains. That was supposed to be dripping with sarcasm, but I think it came off like I was defending the game. <laughs> I was I was actually pantomiming uh, ancient aliens guy to like add up extra emphasis, but you guys don't see that. Yeah, actually, I am curious to see what happens when 9S self-destructs. Did he lose any clothing? Yeah, he lost his shorts, but he's got even shorter shorts underneath his shorts. Ah. That passive heal is actually pretty handy. Um... Is this the person I think it is? Yeah. Let's see if I can make uh, anything good here with the deadly heals. That one takes 10, make 11, but that's going to be a 40%. Almost, almost half my HP regained for defeating an enemy when I have that one equipped. Fast cooldown, that could be good. You could use a uh, background randomizer if you wanted. Get ideas that way. Actually, 5e has a randomizer built into it nowadays, doesn't it? Uh, sort of, yeah. It's, um, in the Something Something Everything book, right? Yeah, uh, in Xanathar's Guide, there's the Life Path stuff, or whatever they call it. bother with those right now. Oh, don't like Xanthar? Is there a specific reason for that? I haven't actually looked into it, but it's, it always seemed like it was very widely positively received. I should probably check my skills actually and make sure I have stuff actually equipped. Yeah. 
I just okay. I'm a boomer. Back when we had D and D, that was actually something that was just part of the beginner's guide. Was there was a spot where you roll dice and it tells you your life path and you tweak it as you want with consent of the GM, obviously. And even if it was like poorly written, it was there to like give you the ideas. <laughs> Which usually it was like really poorly written and very. What? How does that even fit the campaign setting? I'd have to look at that because I don't remember seeing anything like that uh, prior to Ultra Modern uh, and uh, 5e. Advanced 3 and um, uh, Bessem and Fusion all had them. Um. I'm pretty sure GURPS had it, and uh, World of Darkness definitely did. Which, by the way, I still have my World of Darkness uh, ebooks uh, that I can show you sometime. I like to make my characters someone radically different than me, because, you know, it's just an extension of that escapism. Hmm. All my chips cost too much now. That's the wrong last stand. Is there more RAM for sale yet? I don't have the money for it. So it is for sale, you just can't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I actually did want to do stuff here. impulse that's interesting oh yeah that'd be a cool stream to do co-op what's mode. that portal 2 yeah <laughs> and maybe have it like do it when We've got like more viewers and have it to where like in exchange for bits or however that system works, you know, the where people can interact with your stream, have it to where like they can mess with the co-opiness. In what way? I don't know. Maybe like uh, for a thousand channel points, or whatever it is, they can make you throw a box at the other person or something. I don't know. I feel like there wouldn't be a good way to implement that with a game like Portal, just because the circumstances are always changing. Yeah. Uh, Vanny, no, I don't think uh, I don't think we've ever played Portal Two before.
Oh, did you ever play the um the prototype for Portal? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, uh but the yeah, project I have. they submitted when they were at Penn. At Penn. Um, DigiPen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually ended up doing that when I was looking at, uh, looking at that school. Nice, operator. You work fast. Mindless chatter drains energy, 9S. Please keep your comments reserved for mission-related topics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a thought. Or just, like... For a set number of channel points, they could submit a user level. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something that could be done. Um, definitely something that would be easier to manage than something that deals directly with the yeah. in-game oh. stuff. 9S, there you go. 9S, you wanted to see one of those. Have we seen these things before? Um, but yeah, that, that's what the Mario Maker people do, is they just Speaking. will have it to where people can submit in one way or another uh, user-generated content for them to play. No, I don't care about the little one. Stay on the guy I targeted. Oh, missiles. Oh, jeez, he's spawning more defenses. Ah, dang it. The movement on that thing is so finicky. Is it not just a straight twin stick shooter? It is, but it... I don't know, it... It's a lot more twitchy feeling than anything else in the game. Because I figure it would basically feel just like, say, Robotron. I don't even know what that means. It's an old, old arcade twin-stick shooter. Um, Smash TV. Do you remember that one for the Super Nintendo? Nope. Hey, ya uh, you make me feel old. I know Super Nintendo. I don't know that yeah. game. Yeah, just it has nothing to do it. with the age. We played it, and you were apparently young enough not to remember. Is what I'm saying. Uh, it could have just been a non-memorable game. <laughs> uh, maybe. Pretty memorable to me. There's lots of stuff that I don't remember. It has nothing to do with it being a long time ago or anything. Why are these guys that, that can't be true, right? You were only like six years younger or something like that, right? No, like ten. So yeah, you should be like 27-ish, right? I'm as old as I want to be. The thing that you guys don't realize is that I'm actually only two years old. Duh, I could just beat Hazard. I figured it'd basically be straight beat Hazard controls. Uh, beat Hazard, I mostly played mouse and keyboard. I wasn't actually... I'm genuinely not a fan of uh, the twin stick kind of controls. Really? I actually want to build an upright twin stick for beat Hazard. I wasn't trying to attack this guy, but I guess he's the one I'm fighting now. Oh, you don't have to destroy his things? 
I don't have to destroy all the walls and stuff, but I had to destroy all the other enemies. called as a uh, dungeon deep dive or dungeon full dive or something like that yeah i mean this guy's well aware of dungeon full dive <laughs> he's the one who told me about it yeah but need a proper gaming pc for that because like vr requires you humanity. to have a have gaming a video card Council broadcasts are always so stiff. Oh, Jackass. Told me all about you. Name's Jackass. Nice to meet you. I hear you're planning to take out all the machines in the desert. Guess that means we need to get that entrance open. Looks like it. So, um, Jack Ass, was it? Uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well, we want to have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? I wonder if things would go any differently if, Who um... Who sealed gate with explosives? There's got to be an easier way, right? Um, if 9S eats the fish. Is that yet another ending, you think? I don't know. I doubt we're going to get far enough this in to sure do that one, though. Yeah, probably not. I'm looking to uh, try to find the uh, got enemies approaching. save points out here in the desert. But probably not going to do much more than that. These machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why, though. So go ahead and do a full, full save. Right about 12 hours on the dot. That is uh, right in line with where it should be. Three hours per uh, session. So we're making up for one of the times that we went over, I take it? 
How's that? Uh, isn't it about ten minutes left? Oh. Yeah, but, eh. Yeah. Not really a whole lot you can do in ten minutes. We'd have to run out five minutes, then run back five minutes. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh... Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it for Nier Automata for today. Let's go ahead and let's bring this over. And uh, tomorrow, same time as today, uh, 12 central time, we're going to be doing uh some more satisfactory because i want to and uh probably gonna do two or three hours on that one honestly probably three hours just because it's satisfactory so i'm going to uh and then thursday as usual gonna go ahead and uh have an evening stream six o'clock central with dragon durant the yasuhiro 0088 uh doing some hunt showdown and it really looks like I have to figure out what's going on with my chat on this scene as well. Uh, there's some scaling issues and uh, I haven't uh, fixed it here. But uh, yeah, so that's this week. Next week, uh, you know, we're gonna see how it goes. Definitely gonna have the usual three, uh, Warcraft, Nier, and Hunt. And then maybe we'll throw in something extra or something. Uh, depending on how I feel. Oh. Um. So I am actually going to be doing something on VR chat over the next couple of months. Uh, and I wanted to have you on board for it. I'm going to be... Uh, well, first I'm going to create it, so that's going to take me some time. I'm going to create a life scale clue game. And I need a beta tester to to help me test it once I've got it up and running. <laughs> and I was thinking that could be something that you and me could do for our streams, as well as some of my friends who aren't streamers. Yeah, it'd be interesting to check out. Honestly, it's su a surprising idea that that is something that hasn't been done already. There's a, there's oddly enough, there is Clue in there, and there is apparently a Clue Mansion. But there's no life scale clue game. Hmm. Well, definitely something to uh, check out uh, whenever uh, you get that going. Yep. But um, uh, if you'd be up for it, dear, while I'm still making it, if I am on a stream with you, we could show off a couple pics of what I've got so far type thing or something like that. Yeah, definitely something we can uh, talk about in more detail off stream, but yeah, uh, moments like this and stuff where it's just, you know, wrapping up or at the start of a stream or whatever the case might be, you know, never any issues doing stuff like that there, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've we finished the first uh, first ending, the ending for two B. To my understanding, there's like three characters you play as. Obviously, mm. two that we've seen, and then uh, one more that uh, we haven't had any significant interaction with. But um, you, you did technically play as uh, third character already. Uh, machine don't count. <laughs> That's a that's a nightmare I'm trying to forget. <laughs> At least you yeah. didn't like have to do that a third time. Yeah, that'd have been That that could very well have been where the stream redirects in the middle to a satisfactory stream instead. <laughs> but uh yeah so that's gonna be it for uh tonight those of you who are in the chat appreciate you guys stopping by and uh talking with us and anyone who's checking out the vod uh appreciate you guys as well uh and uh yeah have a good one <laughs>